Return him out to the white people on Tibet. Uh, we're joined again, of course, by Anna Tangan in Beijing. I know, sorry for the disruption earlier. Tourism continues to grow by leaps and bounds in the Tibet region. What's driving that? Well, you, you have one of the most pristine areas uh, in the world. I mean, the type, Tibetan uh, Plateau uh, is home to innumerable, um, you know, unique flora and fauna. Mm. It needs to be protected, and that's one of the uh, areas that uh, uh, China has been doing a tremendous amount uh, with. And as a result, uh, they're able to offer that to the rest of the world. There are uh, short um, horned antelope there that people from all over the world, including friends from the United States, have gone just to see because they're so uh, rare. So uh, it's not just uh, you know Lhasa and seeing the temples. It's about the incredible beauty of this mm -hmm. roof of the world. And in 50 years, uh, the length of newly built highways more than doubled. And 99% of the region, I believe, has cable broadband coverage. Uh, I mean, the importance of an increasing transportation and communication network for the region cannot be overstated, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, governments uh, have to be judged by what they do for their people. Uh, if you, you know, look at Tibet, you, uh, earlier on you were citing the statistics, you know, life expand has doubled, uh, GDP has, you know, 1,500 times. Uh, you, you know, th these things are, don't happen by accident. Um, and there are claims, um, you know, by people outside of uh, Tibet that they could have done better. But, you know, there, there was no impetus there. I mean, people in Tibet, the, the number, the population has tripled, went from 1.2 million to 3.5. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a, a real example of how not only have they been able to maintain the culture and use it for, uh, for uh, uh, you know, tourism purposes, but also... Uh, they have been able to improve their lot. And, you know, the infrastructure is an important part of that. You can't do trade and, uh, and increase your GDP if you can't get goods and services out. Aina Tainan, always good to speak with you. Thank you very much.